So here we have the corner where our fence is going. We laid down some modified gravel, um, pretty thick, about four inches thick, which of course will pack down good. We have our stone pile we've been working on bringing in, picking them off the field. And you can see where we've been digging over here, digging about four or five inches where we can. In some cases, it's only two or three inches, but in most cases, it is pretty deep. And then we, more modified gravel, we filled this all in. And we have it coming in from the street here. You can see how it's looking. So our little circular drive in front of the bungalow. And then next, this morning, Amy had the idea that we'll use instead of regular trust stone, that's um, kind of normal stone color in this area. We're going to see if we can get some of the red crushed stone, which is not too far from here. So I'm pretty sure we can get a, I have gotten it before. It's gonna cost more, but Still, it's going to look pretty cool if we do red crushed stone in on our circular drive. Did talk about doing field stone, taking some thick ones off of here, laying them in in between the crushed stone. So that's still an option, and that would still look pretty cool with the red around it. And we peeled back our stone fence over here a little bit. So that our driveway that we had going in by the carriage house is going to double, has a double drive. So it's going to go straight. If you want to go back in there, just hook a little bit if you're going to go into the circle drive. This sidewalk piece right here has been heaved up. We got the first two heaved up because of the tree. So these are both going to get broken apart. I'll break them up to pieces, use them as fill for the back patio that I'm doing, stone patio, and we'll put in our Pennsylvania blue stone sidewalk straight through. It'll come up a little bit, go down a little bit, but it'll be fairly even. So that's where we're at. We're also working on filling in spots as we pull up the sod. We're filling in spots around the house holes, sloping it away and everything else, which I think I did talk about already. And we're taking out the, the window wells, which I'm cleaning, oiling, letting them dry good. And then we're putting them back in, only this time we're putting some stone underneath so they're not touching any dirt. And then on the outside, there'll be stone also, so you're not even gonna see the metal. You'll see stone piled up the only place you'd probably see is maybe from the inside, and that's if I don't lay stone up there, too. So you can see here's one that we did not do yet. And then this is where the first ones will go in. Here's some of the sod we have piled up. We have a couple other piles. We've been working here and there. So our trees that we trimmed really hard, some of them are actually springing back to life here a little bit. So I'm not sure how that's going to turn out, if we're going to, if they're going to continue or if that's just a, a passing thing and they're going to rot away. But either way, we're okay with it. We, we knew they had to come down. So we'll see what happens. Good experiment. This one over here is really doing quite well. <laughs> see how that one's going to look okay if it keeps going like this. Okay. 